walking up hills to get a connection and high bills for data is a thing of the past in this rural area. While consumers lament the high cost of calls and data, Zenzeleni promises services at a fraction of the cost. So I do wish to see a very few people sitting, or maybe zero, to like zero people seeing them sitting up in the hills doing nothing during the day. I want to see that. I want to see people busy finding opportunities on the, in the internet. I want to see people studying online because there are available um, educational um, um, content available online, right? So those are the type of things that I want to see. I want to see people busy. I want to see people learning. I want to see people building their own economy. I want to see people employing themselves. I want to see people um, interacting to each other owning their own, their own businesses because the challenge that we are having is just fully dependent to people who are coming from outside who are going to identify this type of business I want to do within your land, okay. in your homeland. A government says it will contribute 4 million rand to the project. As a department of science and innovation, we have put in 2 million rands and then the next financial year we're going to put in another 2 million rands to expand this to neighboring communities. We think this is an important pilot that indeed it is possible to expand internet networks and Wi-Fi to rural communities and that that on its own changes one's lives. People here were saying now it's easy to apply for anything that they want to apply to without having to travel for kilometers to town, whether it's students who are applying for college or university or those who are applying for, for NESFAS or for any other things that actually requires access to the internet. Well, today as we are here witnessing the great work that has been done by the community of Mangosi, whereby they took an initiative to partner with the university in order to provide Wi-Fi in their own area. This is a community-owned uh, program and the first government were encouraged and motivated to say as we seek to connect the district of our town, we are therefore going to partner with them and ensure that other communities can learn from Zenzeleni and therefore we're able to raise it across the country where we can. Local youth are receiving technical training. Since 2017, the cooperative says it will use the funds to ensure it strengthens its networks and ensures that it's fully dependent on solar energy. Atule Joga, village,